I'm expecting to see a lot of puck movement. These guys have played with each other all off season and into the preseason, so I'm expecting a lot of chemistry out of these new guys, especially. Well, we're underway here at Tennedy, and it's an opening faceoff win for John Carroll. Rand takes a big hit, flies, cooking the slot, a shot, and it's padded away. It's part of that fourth line. Looks like Goldenberg, the shot, hits the glove of Lurch, and it, amazing how that one didn't go in another shot. And Lurch is able to keep it out of the back of his net. Here's the way, here's Albers, a chance to break for Hutchinson. Cross ice pass looking for Alicia. It's in the zone. Alicia on net. Big save from Lurch. Tersh coming out behind the net. Quick wrist by Arnold. It's in. Right off the face up. Oh, and he'll try to push for it. Bahari does a good job to win it back. Here's Bahari into the attacking zone. Backhanded shot off the face mask of Lurch. Cattle looking to clear it away. It remains in the attacking zone. Work to the left circle. Wrist search in the back of the net. And it's the man that we told you to look out for, Sean Deacon, putting it in for the Blue Streaks. The power play brought to you by Brown Steel Fabricators. Oh, what a pass. Up forward. Here's Tuggy, the shot. Another save from Finta. Larkin that much with that fourth line. Alvers pushing forward in the attacking zone, trying to work it across. Now the backhander, another huge save from Lurch. And again, the rebound misses. Montersh off the force of Mahoney. Mahoney turns it over. Chance for Deacon to shoot. It's in again. Sean Deacon, goal number two on the night. Goal number two for the Blue Streaks. They lead this one two to one. Work back to Edgren. Edgren battling for it on the near side. Going through contact, and Edgren comes out with it. Big tenacity. Oh my Christian, gosh. it's in. How about that for Brett Edgren? How are you doing today? Three shots on net and causing such chaos. Rug, the slap shot, it's in the back of the net. It gets through Lurch. And Carter Rug, his second goal of the season. And Lurch has broken his stick. Early, looking for the five hole, sticked away. It's in the back of the net. Another penalty kill goal. And who else but Deacon to put it back in the net. And just like that, it's 4-3. Two of them on the power play. Puck loose in the slot. No, it's in. The wraparound gets right past the right pad of Brody Lurch. Chesner pushing forward with the puck. Here's the alternate captain. The shot bar down. It's in. How about that from Connor Chesner? Stid gets goal number six on the night for Syracuse. As here's a chance on the break early on. It's in the back of the net. An early goal. It's Putnam. The Blue Streaks are going to have to work quickly. And they do. Up ahead to Richter. Into the defensive zone, Chesner just clears it away. Chance to break forward, Alicia, empty net. Jack Alicia puts it in. Syracuse takes a three goal lead. He'll take another save to add to his stat line. Well, it's all about the stats for SU and the biggest stat for them, seven goals compared to only four for John Carroll. That'll do it here from Tiny Ice Pavilion. Gino, an incredible game from SU. Like you mentioned, the resilience of this side, the freshmen stepping up, making big plays all around. Just a complete game from the Orange.